Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again. And today I'm going to show you how to deal with XRP tags when you're transferring XRP between wallets and exchanges. Sometimes you need the tag, sometimes you don't. I'm going to show you both use cases. So let's get started. All right, so if you've been around the crypto game for a while, you've run across XRP. The company is named Ripple, and you might even own some XRP right now. But it can be a little confusing because there's a thing called a tag when you're making transfers. And a lot of people get confused about this. This is one of my biggest questions. I'm going to try to clear this up for you by doing a very simple example so that you can see the use of the tag in action. So I'm here on my KuCoin account. KuCoin is a cryptocurrency exchange that still deals in XRP. There's a lot of US-based exchanges that delisted XRP. So you can't buy it and transfer it on Coinbase or Binance US. But there are quite a few exchanges out there that still support XRP and KuCoin is one of them. So the short answer to the burning question about tags is, you don't need a tag when you're transferring XRP into your own wallet. So if you're making a withdrawal from the exchange to your own wallet, you don't need the tag. I'm going to go over here to Ledger Live, which is the software interface for my Ledger Nano X wallet. As you can see up here at the top, I have an XRP account set up that allows me to manage my XRP. Now, storing XRP in your own wallet is the most safe and secure way to manage your crypto. It's not a great idea to just leave your crypto laying around on exchanges long term. So whenever I make purchases of XRP, my first order of business is to transfer it into my wallet. So let's say that I would like to withdraw the XRP that's in my KuCoin account into my uh, ledger-based wallet. Well, I'll choose receive, and then I'm going to get an address here. Notice that there's no tag, right? There's only an XRP address, and this confuses a lot of people. I get a lot of people that ask me, where is the tag field? Why can't I put the tag field in my wallet? Well, the answer is because you don't need the tag when you're making a deposit into your own wallet. So let's go over to KuCoin. As you can see, I copied that address into my clipboard. Let's go into our account and choose withdraw. All right, I'll go ahead and paste in my XRP address. I'll choose the network. Now we get to the confusing part. The exchange has a tag field and it has a warning down here that tells me I must fill in the tag to withdraw XRP or my funds may be lost. So that scares a lot of people. Now, some types of transfers do need tags. If I were transferring this from one exchange to another exchange, then I would definitely need the tag because exchanges use the tags, but personal wallets don't. So I can just click the amount that I would like to withdraw, click withdraw, and there's that warning again. That's where people really get freaked out. They get warnings, they get alerts, they're telling them that they need this tag, and then they go over to their wallet and they don't see the tag. Well, you don't need it when you're putting it in your own wallet. So we can safely ignore this warning. I'll go ahead and uh, confirm this withdrawal, and uh, the withdrawal is initiated. Notice here that the, in my recent withdrawals, it shows that uh, they have received the request and it's on its way. I can go over to my wallet and just wait on the other end for the, the uh, withdrawal to come into my wallet. All right, you can see now that it says completed. All right, and you can see in my wallet that uh, the transfer was received, All right? So I did not need the tag and I got my crypto. It's safe and sound in my wallet. So what about the tag? When do we need the tag? Well, we do need the tag when we're making transfers to exchanges because exchanges utilize the tags. They have very large XRP wallets and they utilize that tag feature to sort of compartmentalize all of the different deposits from all of their uh, users. 
So uh, exchanges utilize the tags, right? So let's take a look at how deposits work when we're sending from our wallet to an exchange. So let's go back over to KuCoin. In this case, we're going to make a deposit. And we'll choose XRP. And now they're telling us, make sure you use the tag, right? We'll hit OK. And they give us both. They give us the XRP address of the KuCoin account and the tag for my account. So I'll copy this into my clipboard. I'll go back over here to Ledger Live. I'll hit Send on my XRP wallet. I'll paste in that address. And there's that tag field. Of course, the wallet makes it sound like it's not a big deal, right? Tells me it's optional, right? Well, it would be optional if I were sending XRP from one wallet to another wallet, right? If I was sending XRP to a friend of mine or something like that. But in this case, I'm sending it to an exchange and I definitely need that tag. So we'll go back over to KuCoin. We'll grab that tag, copy it into our clipboard. We'll paste it in here to the wallet interface. We'll hit continue. I'll go ahead and send 100 back. And we'll hit continue again. I'll need to authorize this on my device. That's the security of my Ledger device. I'll go ahead and authorize that outgoing transaction. And off it goes back to KuCoin. All right, you can see that I have the outgoing transaction from my wallet now. I have withdrawn it from my wallet. And then we can go over to KuCoin and you can see in my account that I have an incoming transaction that's processing. All right, and now you can see that the transaction is fully confirmed. And now the XRP is available in my KuCoin account, right? So I would deposit uh, XRP into my KuCoin account if I felt like maybe I wanted to trade it, if I wanted to sell it or something of that nature. But in general, uh, most of the time, I'm going to want to store that in my own wallet. As you can see, the bulk of my XRP is being stored in my own wallet. Uh, but you uh, should be adept at transferring XRP back and forth. Just remember, when you're putting XRP in your own wallet, you don't need the tag. When you're depositing crypto from your wallet to an exchange, you definitely need that tag. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.